Are those those Barbados like ones? The Scurlo Man yeah. stacks or whatever. Um, Green water. Kind of. They they will. I actually don't want to use the one we made. Because I want to take that to the fish room. But these guys, I'm gonna throw a little. Yeah, I throw a little this. These guys when they come out. You're gonna really like the color on these guys. I want to point out how much food just went in. People give me such a hard time after I feed, and I keep telling them, Dean feeds 10 times more than I do. But there's there's 25 of those catfish in there. I know. I I have the same thing. You go to my, when like when I have my totes. Oh, there's yeah. like a thousand shrimp in there, and people That's... think I'm out of control. That was just a little bit. Yeah. Most people, I think a lot of, I think a lot of people are actually underfeeding their fish, which probably they'll just say I'm trying to sell fish food or whatever. But I actually think are these cool though? I like them. They kind of. I like the other longer body, but I still think I like the Robatus better because they get the gold. Oh yeah, yeah. These are more black. Still great. Definitely black and and kind of the teal cheeks or something. They, they also are the stripe goes mm -hmm. horizontally rather than no no vertical stripes. These are actually CW038. And you got these from the Corridoras, I'm forgetting his name, but I think um, we had him speak for the online club. Yeah, they're from, um, give me a second, I'll remember his name, Rob McClure. Yeah, we had him speak, and so yeah. if you want to watch a talk on how to breed Corridoras, right. he's got one if you remember. When I saw his place, I was like, wow, this is really cool. And you think that my fish room is small? He's got less space and he's doing tons of different quarries. Nice. This one, when I was there, just immediately when I walked in, he had a tank of these and they caught my eye and I had to have them. I am noticing a trend. Lots and lots of jars of the extreme krill around. Yeah, I like that stuff. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And, and I like the nano. Oh! I just saw something I could really hammer on. <laughs> yeah, you can do it in the members only if you want. I mean, you can do it in the real video too if you want to. We'll do this in a while. All right, <laughs> with some better light. Yeah, where I can really yank the... <laughs> Put it in your pocket so we don't forget. Look at how vibrant the green is. How, how the color on the angel stands out. Yeah, people, I mean, are... are our most common bad review of the light is that it's too yellow, which I just don't see. I mean, it, it's more sunshine and orange than really blue light that isn't natural in the wild. Right. But, like, and the, the tanks beside them, are they full up on the stingrays? They're all the way up, so if I want to be fair, I should probably turn your light down So even at the stingray level, probably about there, right? Yeah, I mean, on camera, it's still brighter, but I mean, stingrays okay. are half the price, so okay. let's make sure we put half that in Half the price, there. yes, but it's it's not, br I don't say so much that it's brighter, it's, this is a 40 breeder. Does this turn this light on? Yeah, there we go, that's gonna be. So this is, this is a 40 breeder with the light 12 inches off the tank. Right. Same here. On camera, it looks like the other ones almost are like the lights are out. <laughs> right. And they're, yeah. and they're full up right now. And Those ones are full up? Yes. The stingrays are. They're on full blast right now. Can't okay. Turn, I didn't realize that. Can't turn any of them any higher, but. Yeah, because that's at like 30% or something right there. Yeah. You want to, let's count, let's count clicks just to be sure. Yeah. So. So. That's all the way down. Yeah, that's like, a, I think that's 20%. Okay, so one, uh, two, two yeah. is brighter. Yeah, two is already brighter. Three has been where I've been running it. Okay. So maybe that's what, maybe about 30, 40%? Three clicks, I think it's like 40. Because there's seven. 
There's seven clicks. Yeah. So it's got to be in that 40 range. It's going to be way easier for people now that it just displays it, but you don't. You you have lots of different prototypes around your house. Of I ours. do, but so so here's the thing though. It also lights the whole tank. Yeah. And you would think the Stingray, I mean, yeah, there's light down in the front here, but... On camera, it looks so it dark. Looks in person, it's dark, but on dark. camera, it looks real dark. It's really dark. And they're full up. And uh, turn it full blast, so if it was like a display tank and they... Because I think it looks really good when it's full blast. If I turn this full blast... Let's see, we go one, two, three... Well, actually, you just go until it stops. Yeah. See, to me that, like at least on camera, it's night and day difference. It is in person too, but. That's insanely. Yeah, I mean the fish look great and I don't. And the plants too. Yeah, I don't see the, I think a lot of people have tannins and that's where it brings out, but some of your tanks have tannins and I didn't see that problem. So. Right. right. I, I think people are just used to seeing too blue, meaning there's too much I blue agree. and they're judging it going, hey, this isn't as blue when right. the reality is, I mean, I like it less blue, but. This is me. And I, I can still apologize for the one sponge. It's because it was going, but but check out that <laughs> filter. Yeah, you got the dual. That's it. That's the dual large size. I can't wait till I get your prototypes of the, I know. the lift tube and everything. Secrets. I, I want it. You know what I want it? I want it for the Corridoras. Where I can, like up here is just um, um, oh, yeah. red lasers, but then I can direct it. Look at that. The NERM logo. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's a member only right there if I ever see one. Right. I never put my, I was going to put mine on my laptop. I haven't yet. So we should try this. Now I have two places we could try it. Um, I think those, those are the baby Barbados. They might be a little bit small for this. Whatever you think. We're just trying what, to show. What do you think about the Ooh, Sturbeck? Yeah. Let's do the Sturbeck because they're big and I wish you had better light, but we'll make it work. On this tank? Yeah. Well, we'll just go grab that two footer. All right. That'd be kind of cool just for the members. Like, yeah. here's what it looks like. And then we put an aquarium co op light, and then it's awesome. Let's get it started soaking first. Yeah, so that way. Now, these guys have never, maybe a couple of these has had it this way when they're small. Look, it's a towel. I'll go grab that two foot light. All right. This is like, Dean's on the room, but this is like my ultimate compliment. The fact that we're starting to place a shelf with easy, you know, aquarium co-op products as opposed to all the high-end brands you would normally buy. So I'm doing something right. All right, you got the light. Is that one, can we dial that one up, or does that one have percentage on, or is it still no, older technology? I don't remember. Looks, it's older it's technology cool. still. So one of the things that I'm curious about this light that I have not tried yet yeah. is on the 10 gallon tanks racked endwise, mm -hmm. if I'm putting the light across them this way, yeah. as you can see right now. Oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to work because we built it for 18 inches and that the 10s are 20 inch. So, so these are with up your mat, the way, it's gonna, you, you don't see the back, right? Yeah. Hold it up there and you can watch the video when it comes out. And Well, you'll, you'll mount it up top though. True, and I won't have this on. Right. So how does yeah. that look? Yeah, that looks. You can see the the matten filters and everything. It, nice. It lights better for sure. It it lights all the way front to back. Uh huh. Right? Yeah. So for you guys in the fish room that want a controllable light, let's call it that. Yeah. Where you don't have to. Where I custom have wire to, like your other ones like all of my stingrays yeah where you have this mess going on yeah yeah you don't and and i have to do the whole rack is that what that thing is that voltage thing mm-hmm ah so so that will well there's a dimmer here but the voltage is to make sure i'm not putting oh too many too many okay volts across the um yeah look at the difference on like the tank to the right of it is just the stingray light. Yes, it's so. the stingray still on, so. But oh, yeah. I can turn it on. Night and day difference. Yeah, there you go. Good lord. I just never. I mean, I've used stingrays for so many years, I just didn't realize. And yes, the price is still double. So, I mean, take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. I'm going to give this feeder a shake again. All right. 
because they haven't quite found it yet. Yeah, they haven't figured it out. And they just got a new light, so. There you go, there's some worms. Now they'll probably figure it out. So here's the other thing. Now, let's take the stingray back on and take this one away. Yeah. And what do you see on the gravel? Oh yeah, the, the bar. Lion. Yeah, the bar. Of... The bar, right? Yep. Now, if even if I put this one on the bar, turn the stingray off, <coughs> the bar is gone. Yeah, because it's a wider spread. It goes around it and everything. If I put this up here, am I uh, going to see the bar a little bit? Yeah, you do. Or are you seeing my hand? I do. Oh, you will see the bar a little bit. You do. So I might have to put them down here. If that's the look you want. I, I don't... Yeah, I like that. But the stingray, it would be right on top of the bar. So I don't know if these guys are going to do what we need for Showtime TV. They might not. This is part of the filming process of getting the things to do what you want to do in a timely manner. Like, if we left the room, they'll eat it all. It'll be gone when but we come back. they got a bright light, they got a camera on their face. Well, if they're not eating it, let's give it to someone else. This might make a mess. I don't think it'll make a mess. It's all right. Good. How about the all angel right. fish? They should go nuts like cichlids, so. Oh yeah, they're already about it. Corydoras are scavenging, but they're not going to it yet. Those are albino sturvae, yeah? Yeah, without whiskers for some reason. Oh, weird. Or whatever you call those. Yeah, the barbels. Yeah. They're waiting for that dominant male to make a move. They are. Oh, and you know what else I won't have to deal with? With with the co-op light? What's that? If I do have the turn down low, I want it to deal with the flicker. Right. Yeah, we made them anti-flicker. Because you're fishing, we film there so often, it ruins every video right. if we don't. So. You have to turn all the lights up every time. I'm still going to make you turn them up just because there's so much more light. The no, fish I, look I amazing. That. Yeah. I wonder how good like the discus and stuff like that would look with a uh, brighter light. Oh, I guess out there they have the flubal lights, so they got bright lights. Freeze-dried pine shrimp cubes. Don't don't eat them, but <laughs> but the rams tend to like them a lot. The black, the dark night rams, midnight rams. Yeah, I'm just dropping them in the top. It's like the brine the brine shrimp doesn't stand a chance, does it? Yep, that's how I feed a lot of times. I feel like I, I don't know how you live with knowing you, you own lights like this and then you have to like squint to look at them over here. I know. How, I do, know. You, how do you have a fish room this way, Dean? I only have a couple of those lights. Because I feel like we're struggling and the minute you flip this around, this becomes like the coolest tank in the, the fish room, even with all the, the wires in the way. Let me just move some wires here. It's not even sitting right in. All of a sudden, this tank's way cooler. Yeah. Oh man, it needs clean, huh? It's is that just, is that why you run it dim? So all of a sudden, it's just some mold on the bottom, right? That's right. Look at that pre-filter. The canister, nice. A little nubius. I like it. I've never tried this with the the discus yet. You never tried with the brine shrimp? Yeah, why not? Oh look, they hate it. <laughs> I 
Do they really hate it? No, they're eating it up. They're going crazy for it. Good. So, my biggest thing about this kind of stuff, why I like the freeze dried, this now, so like you know that Steen's got the red three? Is that, is red bloodworms? That's, that's three cubes of bloodworms, yeah. Yeah, so frozen, what I've been frozen. doing is I've been changing it to freeze dried so they don't have to go to the freezer anymore. They can just grab, yep. and I just, in my house, I just leave it in front of the tank. Like this goes in there, this goes in there. How right. many? Right, you, so. could, you could just leave it sitting on top of the tank. Mm hmm. Like, shake the air out of this one more time. Nice. Sometimes it, it takes a couple times to shake the air out. Yeah. And getting the fish used to eating that. Yeah, but mostly it's a routine thing. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. We hope that you enjoyed it. We picked another one that we thought you might like. You can click on it right here.